Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. So, yes, it's time for another episode of I Don't Give a Shit News. I don't give a shit! All right, so who made this episode of I Don't Give a Shit News today? The two people that made this episode are Amina Butterfly and Dirty Feet Pete, a.k.a. Peter Guns, from Love & Hip Hop New York, okay? So, if you guys don't know, Peter Guns and Amina Butterfly's beautiful daughter, Corey, she turned four years old, and um, a few days ago, they decided to have her birthday in Germany. So, what ended up happening is that Peter posted a birthday message to the daughter on social media the shade room posted it and amina butterfly went to the comment section basically insinuated that he's a deadbeat father he doesn't really see the girls on a regular basis because they have not one but two kids together okay and then peter guns came on there to basically defend himself and say that you know he can't be everywhere at once he's being stretched too thin So then people start dragging her and they're like, you know what, what did you expect? You're stupid, that's on you. So now I mean a butterfly and, and, and Dirty Feet Pete are basically trying to tell their side of the story. Personally, I don't give a shit about any of this damn news. I don't give a shit! But in case you're interested, go ahead and check out their videos. Check this out. Not the way that it's being made out to be. <laughs> it's like, yes, um, I knew that Peter had other kids. Yes, I knew that he wasn't gonna be like, that able to be everywhere at all times i knew that he may miss birthdays and never asked him to come out here to be at the birthday party i never never did that so it's like why are people why are people trying to make it like i'm mad that he missed a birthday just because of, i pointed out a caption and i corrected it because i'm just tired of seeing that oh you know all this stuff that it's just annoying and I'm not trying to continue to talk about it online but when it's being talked about somewhere else I have to say my opinion so, talking about me being mad me being mad me being mad about Peter not coming to Corey's birthday and, and that is not the case at all never been it's about it's about it's about something totally different. It's never about him not loving the kids. I never in life questioned that. It's not about that either. And it's not about him missing the birthday. Like I said in my IG story post, I understand his life. I understand who I got with. So I hate when I see these comments like, oh, you knew what you got into before. Yes, absolutely I did. And that's why I'm not mad. I was simply annoyed at the fact that it's continuously, it's like just continuously promises being made and things said that don't come through. So, and, and it's all good. It's just. But Peter Guns is spread extremely fucking thin, people. I can't please everybody. It's hard. And when you know who you laid down and had a baby with, Got a bunch of kids and he spread thin. You can't vent that shit out on motherfucking Instagram that he didn't make the fourth birthday party in Germany. Unreasonable. Curse me out on my fucking phone. All right, so you guys just saw both their videos. And like I told y'all, I don't give a shit. I don't give a fuck about either one of these people or this situation, okay? Amina Butterfly, a.k.a. Amina Damn Caterpillar, okay? That's what I used to call her when I used to do my love and hip-hop reviews. Ma'am, you knew what the hell you were getting into, okay? For some reason, you thought your womb was different than the other 10 baby mama's wombs, okay? You thought that your womb and the fact that you were the last person to have Peter's baby was going to do something to change this man. Let me go ahead and refresh y'all's memory. Remember when she was on the love and hip-hop reunion stage, gloating and grinning, thinking she had one up on Tara? Okay, let me go ahead and refresh y'all's memory. Remember, go ahead and check out this video. Amina, let me ask you this. If you knew then that Tara nice. was pregnant, 
would you have still gone through with the abortion? I probably would have kept the baby too because part of me having the abortion was Peter because he doesn't want any more kids and I was considering that. How did it feel knowing that Tara is going to be the last person to have one of Peter's children? <clears throat> well, at the time, I, you know, I was upset, but I, I definitely overreacted, you know, especially because she's not the last person that has her, his what is, baby. Who? Baby. Who? What does that mean? I'm pregnant. You're pregnant. All right, y'all just saw that fuck shit, okay? So she was so proud back then. She was so proud to be, you know, the woman who was bearing his 10th child. See, this is what happens when you do clownery, in the words of Big Monique. When you do clownery, sometimes the clown comes back to bite, okay? See, when you do clownery, the clown comes back to bite. You knew his ass wasn't shit when he had them eight other babies. He wasn't doing shit for Tara's children. He was running behind your ass, okay? It was cool when he was ignoring his other children, but now that your children are getting the same treatment, now you're in your feelings. No, Amina, you dug your fucking ditch, now you sit up in that bitch, okay? I don't feel bad for you because you knew what time it was, you knew the type of man he was, and then you, you had the nerve to be the other woman in the relationship, and then you try to call yourself secretly marrying him thinking that was going to change this person, okay? Peter Guns is who he is. Take it or leave it. I'm not saying it's right, but he's never hid who he was. See, these women think they can come and change these men. This man is damn near 50 years old. He is set in his ways. He's been a rolling stone going from baby mama to baby mama, house to house, kid to kid. Nothing is going to change because you decide to bear two of his children. That's on you. When you decide to get pregnant by Peter Guns, you should have also realized that you were taking an oath, okay, to be a single mother. Because he had no intentions of being with you full-time and being a full-time father because he didn't do it for his other eight children. There's an old saying in the South, okay? Y'all know I love my damn sayings, okay? It is cheaper, okay, to buy one whole piece of chicken, a whole chicken, you know them damn $5 chickens you can get at damn Walmart? It is cheaper to get a $5 thing of chicken to feed an entire household, okay, than it is to get a bunch of chicken parts. It's cheaper to buy that than it is to get a bunch of quarter chicken parts to feed several damn households, okay? This shit don't make no damn sense. I'm not comparing his children to damn chicken. What I'm saying is that Peter is too old for the fuckery. Sir, get a vasectomy. Stop having children that you cannot take care of. It's not about a check. It's not about child support. It's not about fame. It's not about notoriety. It's about being in those children's lives. And being that you're not able to do that, being that you stretch yourself too thin, then you need to stop having kids. He should have stopped after the damn first three set of kids that he damn had that he couldn't be in their lives properly. Now we're up to baby number 10 and this man is still doing the same shit. At this point in time, if anybody else comes up pregnant by Peter Guns, I don't give a damn. That's on you. That's why I don't feel bad for Amina. This is why you and Peter made this episode of I Don't Give a Shit News. Both y'all deserve each other. He knew he wasn't shit as a father. Bitch, you knew he wasn't shit as a father. But yet and still, you chose to not only have one child by his ass, you went back and double dip and had a second baby by his ass. So at this point in time, welcome to single motherhood, okay? And be prepared for Peter to just come in and out your child's life like he's done to his other eight children. You're not special, Amina. You're just another bird in his haram, okay? Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Let me know what you guys think about this episode of I Don't Give a Shit News. I don't give a shit, and I'm not going to pretend to give a shit. Amina and Peter both need to have a tall glass to so shut the fuck up and stop arguing on social media like neither one of them knew what time it was, okay? Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. I don't give a shit! Miss <laughs> Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.